Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jeremy Feldman and we are here today with Lively Charleston on site with John Hilgenberg, AKA JCH Cabinets, doing a custom high-end kitchen cabinet install at this beautiful custom-built Daniel Island home. John is now one of the most widely recognized and respected in the industry. He's been featured on the Modern Craftsman podcast, and John has amassed over 23,000 followers on Instagram that now teaches aspiring installers the ins and outs of the business. We're gonna head inside and we're gonna talk to John Hilgenberg, the man himself. John, thank you so much, man, for meeting with us. Uh, clearly, you're. Uh, you're in the middle of a, a pretty big job here, so I really appreciate you taking a few minutes. Yeah, man, it's my pleasure. Tell us a little bit, a little bit about what you're up to here. What are we doing? We are sort of midstream on a custom cabinet install out on Daniel Island. Base cabinets are in, which is always the big push to get cabinetry, base cabinets in for countertop templates. So that's something that the, the job hinges on is to get countertops measured. So now that that's done, we're starting to work, or I'm starting to work on upper cabinets, refrigerator areas, refrigerator closures to just try to keep the job rolling. Now, I've been following you for quite a while. You and I, we go way back. Take us back a little bit. How'd you get started in all this? I started back in Massachusetts, uh, pushing a broom in a cabinet shop. And when I went in there to interview, they asked me if I had any experience. No, have you ever used a power tool? No, perfect, you're hired. <laughs> you're hired. So I think they wanted somebody that they could train. Before I got that far into it, I just realized I was in their shop, we were having fun, we were building cabinets, and the words that came to my mind were, I can literally do this the rest of my life. And from that point on, it was 19 years ago, and so it's been holding wow. true. Yeah. Well, it just kind of goes to show too, when you do what you love, uh, you never work a day in your life, but also, you know, just looking at the, the amazing quality of the job that you've been able to, to do, you know, time and time again, uh, you have to love it in order to be that good at it. I think you do. You have to care and treat it like it's your own home and, and it's like something you are going to have to look at every day. And so that desire to, to always want it to be perfect, I think is very, very important on, on a cabinetry install end. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You're, uh, you're pretty much a one man show, right? I am. So, and you've been that way the whole time? I have, I really have, and you'll find that a lot of the, I guess, higher end cabinet installers, at least in, in Charleston, are solo guys. That kind of blows my mind, especially when you start thinking about some of the heavier pieces that you have right. to move. I mean, you just have uh, kind of some levers and, and some, some pulley systems around? Or <laughs> Not what? so much, but you have, um, you know, gravity is your friend, and okay. so that's, that's something I've, I've preached to others and that was, was taught when I was first starting out by my old, by old foreman was, don't fight gravity, let it work for you. And so you use sticks, you use, you know, ledger boards, anything to help you lift and or hold something instead of struggling. So you just work smarter, not harder. Right on, okay. Yeah. Can we take a look at what you're in the middle of? Yeah, or what sure. you're about to do? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right, where do you want me? Um, out of the way, man. <laughs> yeah, no, all right, I'm uh, out of here. Yeah. So yeah, so we've got this refrigerator cabinet, it's 18 inches tall. The challenge is to get a large cabinet up by yourself. And so the best way to do that is by using sticks. There's a, a board along the back wall, and then there's a board along the back of this cabinet. And so when you lift it up, the two boards will meet and it'll hold it up there. And so you do the same on the side of the cabinets as well. And so all you have to do is really just lift it up there and it will fall into place where it needs to be. So just like that. Again. Wow, it's no perfect. Yeah. So everything goes in where it needs to be, and then it's just a matter of flushing everything out, screwing it in. Now, is this a lot of stuff that you've just kind of figured out over the years? It's a combination. I, you know, having worked in a shop, you just pick up so much over the years by doing that, by just working with talented guys, but also what's happened now because of Instagram and social media, there's this hive mind mentality where everybody's sharing ideas, everybody's sharing problem solving, that you just get better and better and better, faster and faster. And so the learning curves have been accelerated for, for everybody that's involved. I checked out your Instagram before we came over here and you've got a little over 23,000 followers now. So there's a lot of people paying attention to what you're doing. Yes. How did that happen? And what are you what are you putting out there? What are you what are you giving people that they're so interested in, in kind of following and keeping up with you? What you just saw. 
I mean, really it's, it's day to day cabinetry installation tips. And so it's just sort of a daily stream of that. And a lot of people are learning from that. You know, I get a lot of messages from apprentices who are excited because they're learning more faster and they're accelerating again, their learning curve and they're becoming more valuable and they can earn more. And so people I think really enjoy watching it for that reason. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty wild. All right, so we've amassed this reputation over the last two decades. Uh, you've got a brand recognition now. You've got huge social media following. You know, so obviously you have other professionals in the industry coming to you for expert advice. Uh, you know, what are your what are your plans with that? What are you looking to do moving forward? Do you plan on, you know, installing forever, or you, you know, what are you thinking? I think physically, it, it's just. I'm going to come to the end of the road. Not so soon, I mean, I'm, I'm a young 43. I think I'm a fit 43. Looking good too. Looking good, right? <laughs> and so I think eventually I'm going to have to segue into consulting um, because people have reached out to me. I have flown out to California and Phoenix now to show people how I do cabinetry installations. And so say you train four, four guys and you save them 20 minutes a job, that really extrapolates into much more. And so if you can help, help a shop to speed up the process, but not only speed it up, but to make it look better. It's a win-win for sure. All right, guys, so that concludes this episode of Lively Charleston, hanging out with John Hilgenberg. Thanks so much for having us, man. Really awesome. appreciate you. Appreciate it. Uh, so we got Thank to experience you. a day in the life. If anybody watching the show wants to connect with you, learn more about what you do, possibly right. hire you, or just kind of follow you, uh, what's the best way to do that? I think the best way to find me is on Instagram, at JCH Cabinets, because that's, I think, where I spend most of my time. Okay, sure. perfect. So go check out John, follow, see what he's up to, and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thanks so much, guys. All right, that's all we've got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you wanna be notified every time we release a new video, click that little bell icon. Hope you guys have an awesome day.